Hello, good morning. This is Mr. Popo of the highest order. I am gonna be playing for maybe the third time that I'm gonna try to record the Expander Bros. I am I, I, I got really depressed yesterday. I, I, I recorded it three different times and all of them failed. So my sore my, my throat was sore because I talked so much so fast early in the morning, all hyped up and excited and uh they were they didn't record so we're gonna do this one right now ah, i don't know what to tell you about this game anymore as i played it so many times it's gonna be a small one but i hope you guys enjoy this one i'm gonna try to speed run this bitch right here you know why because there's no point in killing a lot of those characters other than just to move on what I was doing yesterday is just fucking running. See like a pro. And then we jump. And then the villain's gonna show up right here. He's gonna kill my my guys. Execution style. Oh no. Yeah. Yeah. So this is uh, well, probably one of the most American games ever. You have all these guys. Oh, America. Oh, America. Oh, yeah, I was watching that Alex Jones. Uh, see, I already finished the first level. First one was so easy. I was watching that one with uh, the old one with Piers Morgan and, and, and versus Alex Jones. Because I, ha I hadn't seen it in a long time and I remember watching only little bits of it. Finally got to see the whole thing. It was really amazing seeing uh, Alex Jones flip the fuck out like that on that guy. I don't have the context of the other guy because I'm not gonna bother listening to that boring piece of shit guy. So you know, it, it was it was just uh, quite a spectacle. It was beautiful. I had a good time watching that. Uh, it gave me a good laugh. You know, Alex Jones uh, went with uh, Megan Kelly. I think it was her name. I don't fucking remember that bitch's name. But uh, that was an interesting one. Hopefully, by the time you hear this, you know, you, we all can agree that she's a bitch. If not. Then, oh well, shit happens. No, that's how it is. Shit happens. Just like that. Shit happens to me right there. You know, I, I do think I, I can beat this guy. I feel like you can actually maybe finish this without getting killed. What if I go under him and I start making a hole until it, it drops? I've done that. You know, it's not a bad idea. After this, I'm gonna try that. One, Characters. We're doing Euro training right now. Euro training. Euro training. Oh, Euro training. Flexing complete. Sexy flexing. There you go. Look at that. Some sexy flexing right there. Remember, this is a flex zone right now. We're, we're not on that stupid as no flex zone bullshit. You know. Uh, that that video always made me laugh. I'm like no flex zone, and they're fucking flexing. And I never got the fucking message of that song. It's almost as, as if saying don't flex because I don't got muscles, so you know I don't want to look like a little bitch. And he kind of like that's kind of how it was, to be honest. That's what they were telling you, pretty much. I don't got muscle, bitch. Don't flex on me like that. You're gonna take my bitches. But uh, yeah, I, I do like Race Room. They they have good music. They last video they made with uh, con they, they they did that little uh, feature. They got featured, but I don't remember everybody else. Honestly, I I only give a fuck about those guys at this point. Everybody else is just pretty fucking boring. Yeah, I'm, like at least they sound different, and it's not the same rap bullshit, you know, rhyming shit. That they they got more like they got something else going on. Something more interesting to listen to. Even though if it sounds all, all weird and squeaky or whatever, sometimes it's it gets you more it gets you more into it, you know. People wanna listen to new shit, well that guy has some new shit. Like you know Drake and all those guys are cool, but uh I, I get bored of that shit. They they can't freestyle, the digital harbinger just say it said it, you know, let, let's be honest, they can't for shit. Ray Shroom and the other guy we saw them, they actually know how to do it. So at least they they have some they they're proficient at it, you know. The other guys just don't know shit about it. 
But you know what? You know, it's, it's a pretty thing. It's just like uh, with Justin Bieber. Um, Justin Bieber. I mean, what what is there to say about that guy? That hasn't been said before. We got Mr. Little Faggot there. Um, I mean, he is. Uh, now he looks like a fucking poor poor man's uh, fucking Justin Bieber. The guy looks like a hipster. I remember the fucking uh, the London concert, one one love concert. That was so cringe. That that shit was cringe. Like I'm not saying it's cringe because of the families and shit. You know, I I feel bad because of that. But like him as a person being there and just saying that stupid that shit was just retarded. Like the whole God thing. I don't believe that guy believe any of the shit that he said for a second. He sounded so fake, so forced. You know, your typical typical. Nobody that's even going lower than he already was trying to get some new fans. This is kind of what he's doing there. Oh, look at that. See, he's already done uh, about two levels. He's just speed running them. See, that's that's what happens when you're talking. When you talk shit, time goes by really fast. And I got a, I got a good character right now. Before I said that this game had like random levels, but now I'm noticing that it's not the case. There's These are the same levels that I was playing yesterday multiple times but I feel like that's what it was on the bro force feel like they had that god damn it let me let me climb not letting me not letting me I'm gonna go this way Yeah, Justin Bieber, man. Let's let's go back to that that that, that little little piece of shit. Um, you know, he he started off, I guess, good again, and with the "What Do You Mean" song, I didn't like the singing. I just like the little beat, which I'm pretty sure he didn't even make. Oh my God, what the fuck? Did you see that? They did not even warn me. Did you see any fucking X's? You know, they they're supposed to fucking throw you an X when they do that shit. They just threw bombs at me, like you know what? Fuck you. Hey, we're gonna show you just like in real life. In real life, you don't get to see it when you get bombed. This piece of shit, man. Piece of shit. But yeah, going back to that thing, you know, like that, that what do you mean thing. That when I heard it at the beginning, I was like, you know, hey, that sounds pretty cool. And then I heard Justin Bieber start singing, and I was like, no way. No way. Why did they give that piece of shit a sweet beat like that and then start like singing with that? Nah. That was bullshit. And on top of that, the music video and all that like art that was on the background and shit, he did not do any of that shit for shit. He not, I bet he did not even write the fucking song or anything. And then you hear that you hear the song and barely any barely any effort put into it from his part. All he has to do is like do a little bit like what do you mean? And then you let the whole beat just do the job for you. And you're like, oh my god, he's an amazing singer. Nah, he just the beat. Just like fucking Drake, you know, ask that ask that little piece of shit to do a fucking album freestyle, and he's gonna refuse. He's gonna refuse. I uh, tell that little piece of shit to just like fucking do it, man. He's not gonna fucking do it. Not fucking do it. And to be honest, his first thing that he released, I, I know he sang this himself and he was singing it, but then you you begin to wonder how much of that did he even like do himself? How much of that was actually somebody else doing that for him? Cause you don't know man, you don't know. The guy was already kind of semi-famous, that's why I don't really think that he got famous. Cause he was already on something that was kind of famous. And like always, you know, a guy had good looks and shit like that, you know. I'm just dissing on this shit because... I mean, look at Rage Room and the other guy, you know, not the best looking motherfuckers ever. But you know, they got that talent, they got the shit going. Look at Drake and all those bitches. Fucking just look pretty and, and that's it, you know, that that's all they got man. Just send them to prison and then you're gonna know how pretty they are man it's, it's just how it is man you say rage you send rage room to prison they're gonna get along he's gonna be okay you send drake over there poor guy man he's gonna be somebody's girlfriend there man it's just the same with a lot of singers man i don't really know kendrick lamar that if he if he sucked but he had some good shit he had a lot of good shit um who else who else who else do we got here fuck my brother used to listen to a lot of this stuff. Uh, I haven't been listening to much of it. Fuck, I forget the names. Kendrick Lamar, Kenya West used to be good. First album, I I still listen to it and I still like it. 
Too bad he, he's just a uh, fucking shit. No way. Damn it, I fell down on the sauce. Ah. Oh, there's another prisoner down there. I, I missed him. Shit. Yeah. Fuck you. No, but yeah, I, I don't remember any of the others anymore. Um, you know, we have a. Uh, let, let's go for the female. Let's go for some female artists now. So, we have a. Um, Katy Perry. So, Miss Katy Perry. She used to be such a sexy, beautiful lady. Now she's just turned completely into a feminazi. Let's point that out, that. Let's point that out. Let's have a conversation about why the fuck am I seeing feminazi haircuts everywhere. I'm, I don't have hate for women. I just simply don't understand the, hair, the haircut of feminazis. I don't understand why do they have to do that shit. Why do they have to cut it so goddamn short? Emma Watson did the same shit. Beautiful young girl grew into a beautiful young woman. Now she fucking wears that haircut. You're like, what the fuck just happened to them? And I'm seeing a trend going. It's like, it, it's fucking disgusting. You know, Nicki Minaj, she, she, you know, she's well known for being like trashy and shit. What did she go and do? She started making some fucking lovey dovey shit. I, I'm glad she's back, but she's not uh, the slut that she used to be. And you know, I'm not being disrespectful because let's be honest, she's a fucking slut. They call they call each other bitches, you know. And if you tell me otherwise, then you know, fuck you. Simple as that. She's a fucking cunt. She's she's meant to be just like slutty and sexy. Isn't that what women like to look sexy and slutty? And what's wrong with being slutty? It's nothing wrong. That's just you know that's what it is. I mean, Marilyn Monroe used to be like the slut of back in the days, and I've seen pictures of her, and that bitch doesn't have an ass or titties. But she was apparently a slut. And you know, it was a misconception that everybody said she was thick. No, she was not thick. I'm sorry, she was not thick at all. I've seen religious pictures. I've seen them. She's not thick at all. She didn't have any boobies, but the context to you know back in those days that was pretty thick. So I would I would accept it in that context because of those days, you know that's what was considered thick. There was barely anybody, any women that were fat in those days, because that's not really the the way everybody was seen. So you know it took a while before the whole chubby movement and all this you know fatness appreciation thing started happening. And you know, it's been going on around for a long ass time for Hispanics and Blacks. And even Native Americans. Native Americans are one of the big ones on chubby women too. But you know, it, it's kind of like the whites have to establish that trend before everybody else follows. You know, like I'm not anti stigmatic or whatever, you know, because that's there's a difference. But you know, before anybody else starts bashing me about what you said, white, you know, it, it's that's what they are, man. They're fucking white. What do you want me to tell them? American? Well, we got fucking white people in Germany. They're not American. This is fucking different. Well, you know, it's just that that's how it is. But I might, I might as well just say, you know, it's like the whole American thing, man. That's, you know, they, 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 they ruled out what was beautiful. Even nowadays, they still go for the skinny. They go for the skinny. And it's like they need approval of everybody else to, like, make something. Like, nowadays, they don't mess with blacks or anything. It's like they've just been pussified. Completely, completely. What what happened to the average Joe American who would fight for his land, his country? We know we do all that shit. We still got them soldiers nowadays, but they're fucking psychotic and crazy. I'm not gonna say they were not back then, but we get, we're going through some fucking fucked up shit before. I'm not saying that the war right now is fucking easy or, or something, but like shit. Those days, we, they really had fucking you know things were like uh, how do I say? It? They were high stakes. You know, there were a lot of high stakes. You need a real man. I'm pretty sure you heard the stories of this guy with the fucking sword. Claymore taking down a camp. Fucking tanks. And then you come tell me that we have real American men nowadays. I, I honestly... I'm still waiting for those stories, man. I'm, I'm honestly waiting for them. I, I do want to listen to some epic Americans telling me, Oh, I did this and that, but I rarely hear them. I, I, don't, I don't really hear them. I don't see anything about them. You know... I know American Sniper, but guess I know about that guy, but guess what? They were better fucking guys than that guy during the same fucking war in Iraq. But since he was the only American, that the best that we had at that point, it was, you know, let's praise him. But, you know, nobody ever thought about the movie in the context that the other guy was the Iraqi hero. You know, Amer uh, the, the, the Iraqi Sniper. 
of their time and then you had this other motherfucker that comes in and kills them you know for all we know the other guy had some good intentions too but you know fuck it it's just like with everything man like there's a little shooting here i'm not saying they're little but the outrage that we tend to get it's ridiculous it should not be like that why, why do we uh, get all offended with this bullshit but over there you know they get bombed and shit breaking news they bomb fucking britain oh let's be all you know let's let's be have compassion and all that stuff but then what they bomb over there in iraq yeah it's all good nobody even says shit and it's supposed to be offensive or something if you even mention that it, it, it's fucking retarded it's like it doesn't make sense anymore man it's just damn like what's going on shit okay i think we can we can actually defeat this son of a bitch no oh shit okay i might, I might fucking die in this ah uh, i know how to beat him okay no this guy does not shoot downwards he does not do that okay he might have a chance in this one but yeah, I mean, like, it, they're legitimate rants, you know, it's it's something that I, I wanted to say for a while. It, it, do, it doesn't make any sense to me why it is like this. But, yeah. So, I had not confronted this boss before. I confronted another guy, but this is the first time I've, I'm, I'm, I'm getting to fight the guy that just got me arrested and captured, I mean. See, I feel like this one of those bosses that you just want to let them drop down all the way and die. Oh man, I got a really tough one. Fuck, I lost. Ah oh, man. Let's try our best on this one. I'll try my best. I need to. I need to repent on this one. Need to own him. Fucking son of a bitch. Motherfucking Terry Crews is a piece of shit. Fuck you, Terry Crews. Wait, what? What? How did I fucking lose? Nah, nah, nah. What the fuck? Are you kidding me? That's bullshit. Pissing me off is that I play so much fucking Contra in all those games, and this little motherfucking piece of shit is only me. Okay, 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 okay. Calm, calm down, dude. calm down, bitch. Come on, come on. Being a little pussy. Come here, man. Come on, come on, bitch. Come on. Stop doing that fucking MK Goro shit where you come stomping from the top, bitch. Come on. Stop throwing little range missiles, huh? You got a fucking big ass tank and you can do shit. Fuck you. Fuck you, man. Shit. I died. My anger got the best of me. <laughs> that guy just went. <laughs> fucking died. Come on. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. Shana na 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 I got him. I got this bitch. King got shit on me now, huh? What oh, you got bitch? What oh, you got? Huh? Get this shit. I'm already inside of you. I am inside of you. 
<laughs> I got him! <laughs> he killed my character and I still got him. <laughs> 57 seconds. See, all I had to do was get inside of that fucking robot. He just couldn't take it. I, I was too fucking gigantic for him. He just couldn't. The, the robot, man, couldn't do it, man. Just couldn't, couldn't help it. Now, we got Wesley, Wesley Snipes. I think that was Wesley Snipes. I still don't know who this fucking guy is. Honestly, he, 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 I've seen his face, but I don't know. Oh shit. Okay, that lesson learned. Don't, don't step on that. Don't step on the little skulls. There you go. <laughs> uh, more ammo. See, yesterday I was not in such a good mood and I was fucking losing my shit. I was losing over and over again. Right now I'm actually getting somewhere. Holy shit, holy shit. Oh, fuck. Oh. Peace, bro.